how would you be able to know that someone loves you? What is love? Love is a very broad word, which entails a lot. But people use it out of context. If someone is telling you that they love you, they have not been with you for a long time, and they say they love you, what does it mean? What have they seen in you that they think they can love you? How would they be able to know that they truly love you or not? They have not seen a lot about you for them to make that decision to love you. If it's only by the feeling, then that means the person is wrong. If you are saying you love someone based on your feeling or your emotions alone, that means you are wrong. Love is not about the emotions. Love is not about feeling that butterflies in your stomach when you set your eyes on the person. That is not love. Love is a decision that you make. It is a choice that you make to be with someone. If you only base on your feeling, when the feeling switches, how are you going to tell the person that you love them? Because your emotions are no more there. That is why so many people can easily come and say that I don't love you anymore. Because they use their feeling to tell you that they love you. But if you decide to be with somebody, it is a decision to be with that person, even if it is difficult for you to love the person. When you choose somebody, no matter what happens in the relationship, you will still be with that person. That is a decision that you have made for yourself. So if we say that we are going to love someone, we are loving that person based on our choices. I choose you and no one else. No matter what happens between us, it is me and you. We'll go through it together. But if you love the person and it's based on your emotions, your feeling, you will love the person. When you're not feeling that emotions anymore, you cannot love the person. What is love? Love is kind. Love is not boastful. Love is not self-seeking. When you love someone, you trust the person. When you love someone, you protect the person. When you love someone, you support the person. You'll be with them no matter what. If someone cannot forgive you and forget about the past and move on and always recording your wrongdoings and throwing it on your face, that means there's no love. If someone is arrogant, does not respect you, how can the person say that they love you? There is no love. You don't need a third person to come and tell you that there is no love. They use the love word because it's very short and simple. I love you. But the actions that goes with that love requires hard work and determination. If you're not determined to work things out with your partner, to grow together, no matter how hard the challenges ahead of you may be, and when one person is sick, you can easily abandon that person to friends and families to take care of them. When they become beautiful and you run to them, there is no love. If your partner is in dying need of something, you have and you cannot give. You prefer to use it on your own, to use it on yourself. It is self-seeking. You're always looking for yourself. You're always looking after yourself and not your partner. How beautiful would it be when you're looking after your partner and your partner is looking after you? That is why they say two heads are better than one. It is good for two people to lie down together on a bed than one person. To keep each other warm. It's not only physically keeping them warm. But when I'm also in need of something, you have to support. You need to step in. When you are in need, I need to step in. When you are weak, I need to be strong for you. When I am weak, you need to be strong for me. But if that is not happening in the relationship and you come and tell me that you love me where there's no actions for me to believe what you are saying, then I don't need a prophet to come and tell me that there is no love. I don't even need anybody to tell me that there's no love. 
but because the emotions are so much deeply buried into the relationship you find it so hard to decide for yourself there is something that we call the power of the mind if you think you are going through a relationship that there is no love it begins with your mind i can easily work with my mind and it has helped me a lot try it and see if you see that something is not working let it be in your mind that this thing is not working i need to move on be strong in the mind and physically it will appear if you don't do it no one can do it for you you will sit down and wait till when they will abandon you that is when you will decide that okay they have abandoned me so i need to move on with these things it is god who is doing it for you when you become weak to make a decision for yourself god helps you to decide for you and he drives away people who are not good for you from your life don't run after them and bring them back because you'll be bringing in a disaster into your life allow god to take full control over your life so many people are good but they don't get good in return and they say i'm not lucky with relationship you are very lucky with relationship just that you are attracting the wrong people you are encouraging the wrong people in your life when they are not good for you they go when they are not good for you you leave that is when you will know that you deserve better but if you keep on entertaining them if you keep entertaining bad people in your life you always attract bad people when you are always sad in your life you always be sad when you decide to rejoice even in your tribulations you will keep on being happy that's why the bible says we should rejoice even when we are going through challenges because you attract what you entertain so many people who have grown up in abusive homes they mostly attract abusive spouses so you don't sit down and entertain bad people in your life if you see that this person is toxic let them go move on with your life and call good things to yourself if someone is not kind if someone is not patient if someone takes delight in doing you wrong doing bad things to you they don't want to know the truth they cannot even sit down and resolve things over with you they destroy your image in the presence of people they make people disrespect you people can talk to you anyhow and you say that person loves you because they just use their lips to tell you they love you no that is not love let those people who are always poisonous in your life go and attract the good ones in your life when you are in need they are not even there so why do you have to entertain them in your life keep being you be strong in the mind and make decisions strong decisions for yourself everybody who comes into your life will respect you because of the strong decisions that you make for yourself when you're not seeing all those characteristics in your life don't conclude that they love you it is not love love is patient kind does not record wrong doings love protects love trusts love is not self-seeking love is not boastful love is peace if you cannot control your temperament and the moment you get angry you need to pick up something and hit on your fellow partner it is not love because you know that you cannot control yourself if you think that you feel like hitting your partner the best thing is to walk away and go for fresh air that is what we call love if they are angered and they easily can hit you physically that is not love entertain what is good in your life and drive away bad things from your life and you see how you enjoy love in your life thank you